I think there are a few players in the NBA that once they retire and you look back on their career, it's not going to be focused on winning, but more focused on something else. I think Russell Westbrook is one of these players. Although Russell Westbrook is one of my favorite players, um, when you think of him right away, you don't think winner. You think Mr. Triple Double or first player to average a triple double in consecutive seasons, you don't think winner right away. I think it's going to be like that until he retires. And 20 years from now, when we look back at Russell Westbrook's career, you're going to think how much he revolutionized the triple double. And since Russell Westbrook's MVP season, triple double is not really an anomaly anymore. It's just see it happen, it's just whatever at this point. So if you look back at Russell's career, you're not going to see a champion or winner, you see Mr. Triple Double. Russell Westbrook isn't known for his playoff success, playoff performance, but 2012, Russ, Harden, KD, this was Russ's longest and best playoff run, 2012. Round one for this Thunder, it's the Dallas Mavericks. It's an easy four game sweep. Game one, Russ has a game high, 28 points. Game two, he has a team high 29 points. For the series, he averages 23.3 points, 22.3 points, four rounds, four assists, and two steals. Now it's round two, and Russ has to go against Kobe's Lakers with KD and Harden, of course, on the Thunder. It's a gentleman's sweep this time. Game one, Russ has 27. Game four, he drops big 37 points, but they lose the game. Game five, he drops team high in points. For this second round series, he averages 25 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds. Now the Thunder are in the conference finals. It's an easy 6 game series for these Thunder against Spurs. Russ averages 18 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Fortunately, they lose in the finals to LeBron in the Heat in 5. 27 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds for Russ for this series. Next, we got Chris Paul. Um, never really able to get done in the playoffs, but great player. So again, point card position, we got Chris Paul. Um, again, you don't really see winner with him. One of the smartest, best playmakers of all time, but you don't see winner. You see, again, one of the best facilitators of all time, but Clippers are Rockets. He hasn't been able to get to the finals. That's what I really mean by winner, champion. And players on this list just haven't been able to get it done in the biggest, biggest stages. I mean, the finals, because a lot of these players can't get there, consistently at least. So with Chris Paul, although I like him, look at his career, you don't see winner, you see great player. For Chris Paul's longest and best player front, which came last year with these Rockets, 2018, they got to the reference conference finals. First round, it's a dub over the Timberwolves. Easy, general sweep. Chris Paul and the Rockets. Game two, 27 points. Game four, he has 25 points, six assists, five steals. He had a very well-rounded versus tile. Game four, now they went to the second round against the Utah Jazz. Another general sweep for these Rockets. Game four, Chris Paul has 27 points, six assists. Game five, he breaks out, erupts for 41 points, 10 assists. But unfortunately, these Rockets can't go all the way. They lose to Golden State in the conference finals. Chris Paul missing Game six and game seven. Third, we got Carmelo Anthony in his prime. It was a great score, but that's about it. We have Carmelo Anthony. Um, he's not able to get it done like the rest of his draft class. Been able to get it done. LeBron, Wade, in terms of winning championships. Um, great scorer in his prime with the Nuggets, and the Knicks, early Knicks days, but hasn't been able to get it done in the playoffs like all the players on this list. So because of that, he's on this list. Um, not really known as a winner. If he does win championships, and his career is going to be coming off the bench. Not as the first, second, or third option, really. That's where, he had his, that's where he's at in his career. So, there's Carmelo. 
2009, this was Mellow, Nuggets Mellow, longest playoff run. First round, they win in five against the New Orleans Hornets, gentleman sweep. Game four, he has 26 points. Game five, is 34 points. For the series, he averages 24 points, six rebounds, five assists. Round two, another five game series against Dallas. Game four, they lose, but it's okay. It's the only game to lose the series, he drops 41. Game five, he drops 30. For the series, he averages 30 points, seven rebounds, three assists. Conference finals, they lose in six. To Kobe's Lakers. This is where this playoff run ends. Game one, he drops 39 points, but it's in a loss. And game two, he drops 34, but it's an inefficient 34 points. For the series, he averages 27.5 points, four assists, and five rebounds. Lastly, we got Vince Carter, great dunker, but not known as a playoff performer. So now we got Vince Carter. Um, look at Vince Carter, one of the best dunkers of all time. I think he's my best dunker of all time. Hasn't been able to get it done in the playoffs with the Raptors. They had some promising moments, but he can never perform like he did in the regular season with the Raptors to bring him to that next level. And I think Kawhi has already overshadowed Vince. He's one of the best Raptors because he was a Kawhi is a playoff performer, one of the best. Has one of the highest point percentages of all time, Kawhi Leonard. His first year with the Raptors, he was able to bring his team to the finals, something they have never done in franchise history. So, you're going to miss Carr, you see great dunker, but can't get it done in the playoffs. Vince Carter's best playoff run came in 2001 with the Toronto Raptors. First round, this is one of the first round, only went to the first to three games. Raptors over Knicks, 3-2. Game four, Carter drops game high, 32 points. For the series, he averages 22.8 points, three assists, and seven rebounds. Second round, this is a lot shorter playoff run than all the other players. Loses in seven to AI and the Sixers, my favorite team. Game three, he erupts for a big 50 points. Game six, he drops 39 points. For the series, he averages 30 points, 5.6 assists, and six rebounds. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be posting more NBA content as soon as I can, which should be very, very soon. Alright, peace out.